Okay, we're gonna try a couple of watercolor techniques together. I'm gonna need everybody to gather a few things. You're gonna need a little bit of rubbing alcohol, a small cup of table salt. You're gonna need a few different size brushes, an X-Acto knife, a light colored crayon, a water cup filled up almost to the top, a watercolor set, some paper towels, and a piece of paper. The next thing I'm gonna have you do is grab a piece of practice watercolor paper, tape down the paper on all four sides to a drawing board, and then divide it with tape into 16 spaces. They don't have to be perfect, they don't have to be equal, as long as they're 16. To start with the watercolors, you're going to drop clean water into every color on your watercolor palette, okay? And any mixing that you plan to do on this palette, you're going to do that right here on the lid. So if I wanna mix two colors together, I'm just gonna drop some here on this lid and I'll do my mixing right there. When you're finished working with this watercolor palette, you need to wash this out, okay? It actually comes apart If I can get it to come apart, it comes off and you can take this to the sink and wash it, okay? First techniques that we're gonna go over today are the flat wash and the gradated wash. So I'm just gonna write that here just so that you know what we're doing. And then the gradated wash. Okay, so to do a flat wash, you're going to start off by mixing some pigment together. And I would use your medium size brush on this one. Any color doesn't matter. You're going to grab some of that color. You're going to mix it in your palette lid. You're going to add some water to it. Get it nice and pigmented. Then all you're going to do with lots of water loaded on your brush and lots of pigment, you're gonna start out by scrubbing this color over the area. Now you wanna make sure that between each stroke, you add paint. The idea here is that this flat wash should be such that it doesn't show any paint strokes as it dries. It should be a flat area of color, okay? The gradated wash is done similarly. I'm gonna start out with my super pigmented mix that I just made. I'm gonna make sure that I've got a lot of pigment and a lot of water in that mix. And I'm gonna start out with a swipe of very pigmented paint across the top. With each stroke, I'm gonna add a little water and I'm gonna work on this while it's wet. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to make sure that this gets lighter and lighter as it goes down the page, okay? I wanna make sure that the top is much darker and it gets lighter and lighter as it goes down that section. There should not be a definite, I think I got that a little too wet. Uh, there should not be a definite change between one tone and the next. And if you end up with a little puddle at the bottom, you're just gonna take a brush you're gonna dry it off and you're gonna use that brush to soak up any liquid that is in a place where you don't want that liquid to be. You can fuss with it while it's wet to make it nice and gradually change from one color to the next as it goes down the page.
The next technique we're gonna work on is wet on dry. And dry on wet. Okay, so to do wet on dry, we're gonna have to set that one up first and let it dry um, before we're ready to do the technique on there. So you're just going to do a flat wash of any color. Um, I think I'll do an orange. So pigment, lots of water. Go ahead and swipe that color on there and fill that whole entire section with pigment, wet pigment. And we're gonna let that one dry and we're gonna work on the one next to it first, okay? So dry on wet, you're gonna start out the same way that you started with dry, uh, wet on dry and you are going to add a wash of color. Okay. While this color is still wet, you're going to do the next part of this. But I wanna make sure that this is shiny wet, not puddle wet. So it has to be damp to do this next part. I'm going to take some pigment with very little water in it. So pigment, water mix, very pigmented. And then I'm just gonna take a paper towel and I'm gonna dry off my brush a little bit. Now I'm gonna take my brush and I'm going to start swiping paint into that damp area. What's gonna happen is you're gonna see that that paint starts to sort of feather its way out and give you a semi crisp edge, but also it can give you a little bit of a fuzzy edge too. So if you're looking for something that doesn't have a nice crisp edge on it, um, dry on wet technique is probably a good one for you. Uh, this area got tiny bit too dry on me, but you can kind of see uh, the fuzzy edges here, here, and especially in this swipe right here. For wet on dry, we wanna make sure that's good and dry before we begin. Um, you're going to take some very pigmented paint, um, but you're gonna add some water to it. So I'm gonna use the same color again. I'm gonna add water to my pigment, plenty of water. I'm not going to dry it off first. And then I'm going to just add it to that area. And what you're gonna get is a very crisp edge. It's not gonna bleed and feather like it did here. You'll get a nice crisp line out of it. And so that's a good technique if you're trying to do some nice crisp shapes um, on a background color.